I'm Christopher Titus, and this is the Armageddon Update. Lying! <laughs> we have really gotten used to it, haven't we? I mean, it used to be, you know, when a politician lied, we were pissed. He had to quit. And then we elected a new politician that lied better. Now, we make up a story to fit the lie. Donald Trump is president right now. He's currently the president. Absolutely. He is still president. There's a lot of things that this Biden person does not have, like the presidential seal. It's not real. What is he doing as president? Uh, he is in charge of the military. There's, there's two there's, there's two militaries. There's a good and a bad. You know, deep state, rigged election, locker room talk. You know, Ron DeSantis said we are a country in decline in that last uh, Republican debate. Liar, bro. Just because Florida is a dumpster fire of a state with book banning, stopping on women's rights, taking voting rights and denying climate change while Miami floods on a sunny day. Yeah, I get how you would feel the decline because you live in it and you created it, Ron. Who tries to take on Disney? You're a dumb man, Ron DeSantis. You know, you should ask Harvard for your money back. Seriously, just give it a shot. After four years, I reject woke ideology. You know, it's stunning to me is the people with the least money look up to and vote for the people that took their money. Do you want to go down how that happened? Reagan adopted trickle-down economics, which said if we give the rich people more money, they will give it to poor people. And then the dumb poor people waited for that money to trickle down. It didn't. The London School of Economics did a study of 18 countries over the last 50 years. They found out that not only did the poor get absolutely nothing with trickle down except bent over and something weird trickling down their leg, the rich benefited and more than doubled their wealth. Yeah, no trickle for the poor and a raging river of Quan for the rich. Yet the South, the poorest parts of our country, overwhelmingly vote for the people that continue to make the South the poorest parts of our country. Republicans, to you hardcore conservatives who actually think the Republicans have your back, can you tell me how? Guns? Okay. So you get to have unlimited, no permit, concealed carry. Why? We've had more mass shootings than days in the year. How scared are you? And what are you scared of, minorities, immigrants? Well, in a comprehensive study done by Princeton University in 2020, they found that U.S. born citizens are over two times more likely to be arrested for violent crimes, 2.5 times more likely to be arrested for drug crimes, and over four times more likely to be arrested for property crimes than immigrants. You know, Americans, patriots, commit more crime and do more damage than the people who came here legally and illegally. Yeah, put that in your flag and burn it. But the Republicans keep you scared. You know, don't worry that your kids might get mowed down in school. Worry about a drag brunch where they may hear a Broadway retrospective. No one has been killed at a drag brunch. But kids have been mowed down in school learning to read. The Democrats have brought back 12 million jobs. They started infrastructure, the CHIPS Act, lowered drug prices. They expanded health care, 260 million vaccinated. Wages are up 5%. Inflation is down. Gas prices are down. 800,000 manufacturing jobs. They united NATO and brought back America's reputation worldwide. That's in three years. The Republicans have put forward zero legislation that fixes anything, period. The GOP voted against infrastructure. They voted against the chip back, yet they claim credit for it in their districts. They voted against cheap insulin, lower drug prices, and against expanded health care. For you, the Republicans backed up Russia and have spent more time talking about the president's son than they have about your needs as taxpaying Americans. That's right, Poochie, let's get into this. You. So in summation, trickle-down economics doesn't trickle. <laughs> Immigrants commit less crime than Americans, right? <laughs> and drag queens don't hurt kids. Unlimited AR-15s do. <laughs> Hunter never worked in the White House. <laughs> he never made $640 million while working in the White House. <laughs> and he didn't take $2 billion from Saudi Arabia. <laughs> Trump's kids did. <laughs> I want you guys to know woke is better than being brain dead. And to those who think someone singing show tunes is more dangerous than a mentally ill, messed up redneck with a semi-automatic and body armor, to you who think beer can be gay, and by the way, if this beer is gay, you've been drinking gay beer for years. To those of you who think that owning the libs is more important than owning your own home, keep voting Republican, but do it knowing 
that they are the people that made your life suck. And they did it by scaring you. You don't have because they took. Admit it. You have Stockholm Syndrome. You're voting for the people that raped you, that stole from you, and are holding you hostage. And as far as I can tell, <laughs> you like it. I'm Christopher Titus, and this is the Armageddon Update. Thanks for making me feel better. I'm a little amped up today. I get it. I get it. You need to come help me. You said, Papa, I need to help you. Come on, let's go talk about it. Let's go throw a ball or something. You need to You know, you're apathetic. You know what you are? You're woke. That's what it is. You're just woke. I love that about you. Hi, everybody. It's Christopher Titus, Titus Podcast. With me, as always, I'll wait for a second. I don't need... Hi, everybody. I don't need a second. What's up, people? (laughs) Let's go to the pre-roll on this. All right. I'm a professional. By the time you say my name, baby, I'm what's up, people. (laughs) Also, the Highlander. Highlander! (laughs) Jesus, what am I... What's going on today? I need a minute. (laughs) He's working on his fun fact right now. He's like... "Hmm." This yeah. is really Wait sad. Wait till it starts. You go, oh, I, I need a fun fact for God's sakes. Uh, I, got, I got the Keurig to print them out. I have had uh, a, a serious issue uh, recently. We were on the road. We just got back from uh, Missouri. We were playing the Blue Room. Uh, interesting uh, week, mm-hmm. I would say. Uh, and uh, I was watching the news. And the reason that the Armageddon update came out the way it did is I'm watching. Like, so I, I started seeing people being interviewed about you know, the, the Republican Party. And the fucking backflips and, and twister moves they have to do to make the oh. stories make sense is crazy. And then I saw a lady, they go, what do you think? So what do you think about President Biden? She goes, he's not president. He goes, what? No, he's just a figurehead. He's, he's, he doesn't even know what he's doing. They just think they're propping him up. She, and the guy goes, who's, who's running this stuff? He goes, the white hats. He goes, the white hats? And she goes, yes, you know, the generals and the colonels. The military is currently running the country right now. He goes, well, who's president? She goes, Trump. Trump's president still. He's just running things. And so he goes, well, so if that's the case, then then Trump should be responsible for inflation. She goes, he is. He goes, but he did it. He but he did it uh, to show uh, how bad things would have gotten had Hillary been elected president. And but wait, wouldn't that also mean Trump is responsible <laughs> for climate change initiatives? Yeah. He's teaching us all a lesson. <laughs> and because he's like God, us. but he's also he has a trans woman in his cabinet. He's he's running shit, and he's indicted himself four times. That's oh. to show is. how bad Biden is, right? To oh. show how bad Biden Where is. is Biden? So to keep it under cover, so no one figures it out, he's indicted himself uh, four times. Uh, Biden, no, Biden's there, but Biden's a figurehead. Biden's just they're oh. just propping him up. Bi- Biden's not really president. So they're technically working together, right? Because the one thing we know about Donald Trump is that if he was president, he likes to keep it on the DL. He really, yeah, he, doesn't, he really wants to keep right. keep it hidden. He did, He's he, quiet. Stay humble. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, just stay, exactly. don't, don't don't brag, brag about things. Don't brag. Yeah, right. And it's not about me. Mm-mm. It's not about me. Mm-mm. It's about the country. That's Donald Trump in a nutshell. Okay. Well. The orange ding dong ho ho cake has that lawsuit with Letitia James, the New York AG, and it's set for trial. She's now released that he inflated his net worth by as much as two point two billion in one of the years that they and not checked. overall, like that was in one year. So all this crap about he's a billionaire and he's this and he's that. Um, she says that as they move forward with the civil fraud lawsuit against him, his sons and Trump or Trump org already has lost one case. She says over a 10 year period, when it corrects the Trump financial statements for misvalu- misvaluations, it reduces Trump's net worth by between 17 to 39 percent in every year or between 812 million to 2.2 billion each year. I don't believe that. Two point I mean, two came in twenty fourteen. No, no, he did. So he would, he only had seven bankruptcies. That doesn't make yeah, any there's sense. Yeah, there's no, there's no he way. Would there's no way. <laughs> he's such a real estate genius <laughs> <laughs> that he, he uh, buys low, sells high. His sarcasm level is crazy on eleven today. <laughs> his sarcasm is way real up estate today. genius and yeah, a water he, genius what? and a steak genius yeah, and a I university know. genius. Person, woman, man, and camera, TV, a man. brain genius and a charity genius. Got a big brain. Big brain. He's got a big brain. <laughs> He's got a big brain. Oh, speaking That's of why big he loves brain, he Putin. actually was just told he couldn't leave the country to attend the golf 
tournament in oh, Scotland. Oh, they did. They did tell him he couldn't leave. That's hey, bro, you're under indictment. We'll let you fly around on your private 757 wherever you want to go. You just can't leave. Why the, would you do that? Because you're not black. States. That's why. Exactly. If you were black, exactly. they, what, exactly. the one guy in the Trump, the, the, the blacks for Trump, that guy's still in jail. <laughs> they, that, <laughs> they gotta which be is paid. So, Come which on. Is so bad. He's even a hardcore Republican supporting Trump, and he still can't get out of jail. That's fucked up. So she said that she filed. This just came out today. This morning, she filed a partial summary judgment motion because she says that this is undisputed evidence. It's evidence that was subpoenaed from him, from his organization. And she's saying for this portion of it, no trial is required for the court to determine that defendants presented grossly and materially inflated asset values and statement of financial condition. So she can just go, hey, IRS, here. Yeah. <laughs> and he's That's coming next. He's, he's, so... And th this goes back to what I said last week. I keep hearing people saying it's a conspiracy. They're trying to take him down. And I keep wanting to point out to people, really, two southern states and two northern states that culturally and historically don't get along at all. Somehow, those four states worked together mm -hmm. to go after this one guy it's, for, in four different ways. Well, it was, well, two are federal. Two are federal, right? But still, it's still, but still, you, so you got, you got D.C. and Florida. You got and Florida, Georgia. actually, she's helping him. The judge there that has the case. Right. So he's got a judge that's on his side, but we're not hearing about her being part of the conspiracy. Yet right. she's running stuff. He's been, uh, what did, what did uh, Judge no, Chutkin, Judge Chuck, Chuckin went off on him again. I, they if, it, if the people land on his side, back him up and support him no matter what. They're fair. Then they're fair. Exactly. If someone disagrees or says that's against the law, that's part of the conspiracy. Or that's even when critical I want to go like, to people in my family, like this just logistically doesn't make sense. <laughs> exactly. It that's just I, doesn't. Yeah, that's my point. It we have laws. We can all look at these laws. Mm -hmm. And some of them are in the Constitution that you guys love so much. Yep. You know, the one that Jesus wrote <laughs> and God given rights. Uh -huh. And oh, that was the Bill of Rights. So, um, it, it doesn't make sense. We know that he had the documents. We mm. can look at those laws and see that that was against the law. Right. In response to that, they say, but Hillary, but Clinton, but Obama. But yeah, but no, but no, but Hillary, Hillary was investigated 35 times. Obama didn't take any documents that and instantly if there was a problem and this goes to Pence and Biden, any documents that they found were, were top secret class for whatever, whatever they had, because I think Biden, Biden ended up having 10 documents and Pence had a little bit more. These guys, the second they found them, they called Nara and were like, here, they don't, there was not three guys on Biden's team that hid the documents in another room that moved them yep. into the shitter. No, they called and then said, they please called, search yeah, our yeah, home yeah, and our office. Come to my house, come to my house right now. Here's the keys to my vet. Go here, ahead. Take the building down. Yeah. Find <laughs> it. Here you go. Everything. <laughs> and yet like, I'm we, out, I'm we out. have video of Trump people moving boxes of documents mm -hmm. and keeping federal investigators from coming onto the property to search for yep. them, refusing to turn them over, saying he doesn't have With them, moving them on a plane. And, striped shirts. and discussing how to get rid of the servers that had the video that was showed yeah. them doing all that. And then we have, oh, we have witnesses for that too. Anyway, is, and but and, and co-conspirators who are also indicted under it. So it's, so, it's mind boggling the mental gymnastics I, that I, these people will go through. Can, can, and first of all, it's also surprising that how creative they are for yeah. being so dumb. How are they so <laughs> dumb and yet so yeah. really creative? Because comic books. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I never, I could never for once get into comic books. And it's because they were always very simple to me. I take that back. I was into rich, rich comic books because I wanted to be rich when I was a kid. Can we please make a comic book of the last six years <laughs> and, and, re uh, and release it? By the way, whoever would do a graphic novel about you, because you, you, it would be, a, I, would, I would actually buy that comic book, especially if it was done with a sense of humor. That would and be blow awesome. it up like a like a Lichtenstein. <laughs> See, I know my heart, my my yeah, artwork. Yeah, very good with the dots. With very the, nice. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so we are here. Here's the thing. What, what's going on with Trump and the people? We it, this is species ending stupid. It's it's yes. literally species ending stupid because what happens is is when you get that dumb and you're willing to justify or make up a story about any crazy criminal bullshit that this guy does, which means you'll put your life on the line for this guy, no matter how much he's taken from you, no matter how much he's given rich people more money and done absolutely fucking lootly nothing for you, you'll put your life down. And th and we're t they're talking about on, on uh, social media in, uh, in the right ring social media, they're talking about a civil war. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what are you guys even fucking talking and about? This is what this they guy did. Hates your guy. This is, you're not fighting. 
fighting for Gandhi or Martin yeah. Luther King. You're fighting for the boob. Yeah, the fucking the Donald <laughs> the boob. <laughs> There's people in jail serving time for him. A thousand people. For have all been... the people that stormed the Capitol, they did it for him. Oh, yeah. Giuliani is broke. Yeah. He's lost his law license. Mm -hmm. Trump still won't pay his legal fees. He won't pay his legal fees for his defense. He won't pay Giuliani's legal fees that he charged him that he agreed to pay for representing Trump. Did that should tell them everything you need to know. Right now, there. today, Giuliani has officially lost the defamation lawsuit that was brought forward by Ruby Freeman and Shea oh, Moss. Oh, no. He, was, he lost in a summary judgment <clears throat> because... <laughs> He refused to turn over discovery and follow the rules of the court, rules of evidence. He's an attorney. He's a fucking attorney. <laughs> he knows what's going to happen. What is going on? When, when did Rudy Giuliani go from that guy to this guy? That what a and and, and the you know the the thing with the legal fees. <laughs> the report was it was a handshake deal. Yes, Rudy Giuliani knows Trump better than anybody. He made a. I'm not making a handshake deal with the dude. Dude, I want not only do I want you to sign a contract, I want the money in the in an escrow well, account the, that we can access. The guy in Florida was it Corcoran made him pay three million. His front attorney up front before yeah. he would even sign. Yeah, he knows that he knows the deal. Uh, there's going to be a trial to determine the damages, but the case is over. He lost. It's judgment's out. Now they'll determine damages. Um, which could there's there's no cap on that. He's already been sanctioned almost a hundred grand. Um, wow! Well, wow, that's just the sanctions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, he too, refused to he refused to do what he knew he had to do. He turned over fewer than two hundred documents, a single page of communications, and as the judge said, a sliver of needed financial documents and blobs of indecipherable data. Oh, blobs. he did he did your ex wife's <laughs> trick where you get the same piece of evidence seven times mm -hmm. and oh. then you get and you count ink it. blobs uh -huh. and a picture what, what from she, the child's children's graduation. Uh -huh. Yeah. So what she would do is she would it, it always seemed like she had she had make, copied two stacks of five hundred pieces of paper and then just went and then handed a thousand pages and you're like, this is the same shit over and over. We got a receipt. Remember we got a receipt like for BevMo or something? Yeah. It was like, that's what he did. He just tried to not do what he was supposed to do. So he lost. So this guy's lost everything. That's going to be his, his house his, in New his, York. His responsibility, his fault, a hundred percent. How do you keep, how do you keep trusting this fuck? who continues, and, and it goes to what I said. If Trump didn't have anything on these people, these people would have flipped on him a long time ago. That's why the lower level people, I think the guy, like the security guard and the guy who ran like the, the tech at, his, at mar a lago he doesn't have any video on those guys. They're just workers, they're just dudes. Yeah. So that guy finally flipped. Uh, well, Nada, he doesn't have anything on him. Nada's staying loyal, because I'm sure he was promised some money. But why well, would all these very powerful people, I keep going, to the, why would all these powerful, powerful people continue to agree with this guy? Uh, as, and you can see, we can see where it's going. I'm not a genius and I can see you guys are going to, half of you are at least going to jail. Because, at least. He, because he's, he's the fucking dumbass Pied Piper. No. He, he heard the, the, the even, half of these morons. But even then. His political power. But he, but he doesn't really have any, really. It's, it's kind of perceived. Uh, and you and okay okay all right okay let's say this but if these guys if he didn't have anything on all these politicians right yeah. lindsey graham i'm not saying he doesn't lindsey Graham, right but wouldn't you just go no we, we we got our ass handed to us twice now we got a midterms the presidency and the midterms we got our ass handed to us well, let's just get rid of this guy and and they're like okay let's get rid of this guy uh because he, he's a loser right god he's, a loser. he's, out, he's done T trump's a loser everybody says it he doesn't have anything on asa hutchinson which makes me think asa hutchinson's a good guy he doesn't have anything on kinzinger kinzinger good guy uh liz cheney honest uh, honestly if you think about who who has come against them who's the other guy in, in the congress that's that's flat out so oh, christy he's obviously got nothing on christy but i think something different i think christy because he's a new york guy has something on him i think there's i think because if you notice Trump never really says shit about Christie, and Christie's been handing him he his ass. He did one time when this all started, but he stopped. Post a fat shaming meme or something. Remember, he had him at a buffet or something. Which, which Trump posting a fat shaming I know. meme? <laughs> hey, he's two hundred fifteen pounds, six three. If what that is the potato about? curry calling the, <laughs> <laughs> the meatball, whatever. So I think that. I think that Epstein, all that stuff that disappeared, I think Trump has. I, my theory, guys, I'm, I'm making this up as I go. 
but the I, I can't figure out why anybody would continue to take this shit from this guy um, unless he had so much on him. Re- I, I, I really think that it's because they they realize that he has so much political pull that, and they are so addicted to power over anything else yeah. that, that he, because he's still leading the polls. He's leading the polls. Yeah. And if they had somebody who was like, who was he's higher all, up, I think that they let's would. Let's be clear. He's not leading the polls. He's only leading in the Republican polls. He's well, not. that's what I mean. Who yeah. can, who can okay, but, take well, over Well, no Biden. labels. Um, it just came out that Harlan Crow is a major funder of no labels. Some, some big Trump donors Oh, are behind oh, so, so it's really all designed because they know he can't win anymore i think it's designed if people vote for that party candidate then trump it's so a wait, vote for trump so, so we even have so we even have the people that are running the polls are literally so partisan we can't believe the polls not, not that we ever could I mean, no i'm saying no labels the third party option that's right. emerging they are being funded by big trump donors the third party for the democrats yeah. is being funded by Harlan it's not Crow. the democrats it's a third party Republican. but wouldn't that be wouldn't that be genius though because how do you take votes away from biden you fund a third part third right. party democrat that's what i'm saying oh okay that's what i, that's, that's what I thought you were saying you know we agreed the whole time and we still argued that's crazy <laughs> I just, wasn't, we went I was table, just going, by the way, <laughs> welcome to marriage here's what happens so you're actually agreeing on something and yet Still it fighting. sounds like an argument. I was just, <laughs> we're totally in a hundred percent agreement. And no, you angry. were you were confused at first. I think uh, you see. thought I was saying. Welcome to you marriage. You said someone that was running the polls. It's not the person running the polls. I thought you were saying that he was financing the people that did the research. Cause, cause, uh, so you were saying that he's funding a third party candidacy against. Uh, against and there's been some talk that Mansion might be that candidate. I yeah. don't know if Manchin, that's. By the way, I, here's what I don't get. I don't. I, I don't get. It, it's as I got older. I used to think, I used to look up the politicians and think they had to be smarter than us. They had to be, there's a reason we elected them because they're better than uh-huh. we are. That's what I used to think. That, you know, that this is my, like all the way through my thirties. And I realized that no fucking way. If anything, they're more narcissistic and more children. They're yeah. way more way children more than we are. Yeah. Yeah. Way worse because it's all about money and power. Someone was talking about, uh, I think it was um, uh, Robert Reich was talking about how the the thing that's going to destroy us is the money and politics, and that he's a hundred percent right. It's fu- we're fucked. Yeah, we're Speaking fucked. Speaking of money and politics, Mitch McConnell had another episode today since he's oh the my. one behind Citizens I United. I feel bad. It looked like Daisy. <laughs> he looked like Daisy, <laughs> Daisy except he wasn't walking, so he couldn't walk. It's our seventeen-year-old rescue. If you guys don't know, <laughs> the same hair and this look. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Daisy's not all there. No, at all. By all there, I mean at all. No, she's not. None. There. Nothing. She will walk. This morning, can I tell them what I hold up to this morning? <laughs> so this morning, so Daisy is really out of it. Now, dogs will do all they can to avoid their own poop. Well, Daisy, we put her in the bathroom last night because she starts making noise <laughs> and wakes her up. I think we told this last week about a different yeah, incident. Yeah, this. Uh, so, here's, <laughs> so this morning, I'm in bed sleep. I'm, I'm, ah, there are visions of sugar plums in my head dancing. And I hear, I hear the door opens her. Fuck! Fuck! Oh, fuck! Fuck! Oh, my God. You're fuck. scaring Groucho. And, and oh, that's what Mitch McConnell's doing. So I think he's shitting, okay, his, he's shitting himself. So, what happened? He is could that be. Daisy, that's what's happening. Daisy he could had be. crawled out of her cage into our bathroom. It was on tile, thank God. And it pooped. And then it walked through it and continued. Basically done. She had, she had done a painting. Finger painting. She had done a painting. <laughs> The thing little is, pause, pause if you open, yes, everywhere, <laughs> oh, man, everywhere. It was, it was I, she rarely screams like that. I panicked. It was horrible. I panicked. <laughs> it was insurmountable, the yeah. amount of damage done. And well, as she, someone- She wanted to burn the house down. Would, I had to talk her yes, into setting the house on yes, fire. Yes. This is for an old great day. What is again. this? It's this is a little- <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, no. She's got a health problems and she didn't poop all day yesterday. And so oh, this was a- couple days saved up yeah and Ooh, then boy. she she uh did impressionist mm-hmm. paintings who's the who's the, who's the jackson pollock painter? jackson pollock yeah yeah jackson pollock i see i know my she, art she jackson pollock the entire bath yes <laughs> so in one color so mitch mcconnell today <laughs> was in kentucky stopped for over 30 seconds after a reporter asked him a question about re-election he goes completely silent same way, Panic. stands around, kind of scared and very still, can't move. You can tell he can't move. It almost looks like he's in there, but but can't 
talk or move his yeah. body. Something, something seriously And then wrong. AIDS had to lead him away again. So here's the thing. AID walks up and goes, did you hear the question about are you going to run again? That first was all, 19 seconds in. First of all, if someone, if you're, a, if you're in charge of a piece of our country and he's way up there. And an aide has to go, did you hear the question about running again? Not only can't you run again, you should have to quit that day. They uh, all ha um, have figured out that Trump is, there's a little bit of a glitch. He's he's on the computer controlling <laughs> Mitch McConnell and there's a little bit of a <laughs> That's what shutdown. It, he's got chips <laughs> in everybody. Here's, got here's something I love. So he was speaking, President Biden was asked later if he'd heard about it. He said yes. And his response was, I'll try to get in touch with him later this afternoon. Mitch is a friend, as you know, not a joke. I know people don't believe that the case, but we have disagreements politically, but he's really a good friend. That's, that's a president. Yeah. That's a president. I got, I'm going to check on my buddy, make sure he's all right. Yeah. Oh, wait, yeah. who, what? Biden said that? About McConnell. Okay. Because I, I thought you said Trump said that. I don't know why no, that no, happened. Like, yeah. And I was like, wait a second. Loser, just the one nice thing? Stupid Trump has loser. no friends. He would just double down. Yeah. It's like, even just if you hear him talk, he has a vocabulary of- Six-year-old. Yeah. But a really slowly developing, bitter- Rude. jealous yeah. rude poorly raised yeah. six-year-old mm -hmm. i don't Spoiled. know how people can even listen to the way that he speaks to and about people and expect that to be the guy because they speak the same way and he's a billionaire supposedly no so he's they not think, i know he's not come but, on tish james but people have this thing where like i could be i'm i'm as fucking stupid as that guy i could be that guy there's some that's that's mm -hmm. what I, I it's part of it what I don't, again, I don't get the making up, the twisting yourself into thing to make some shit. Okay, so he's been indicted four times. Yeah, it's a deep state. It was a multi, multi state conspiracy where thousands of people got behind it and actually formed, and they, the evidence is made up. It's not real. What about Hillary? What about Hillary? What are you talking about? Hillary was investigated 35 times. Everybody, James Comey flipped her on two days before the election. Hillary got, you want to It was about Trump's the DOJ that actually released that they found no record of wrongdoing. Right. It was Trump's DOJ. That, right. So, because he made them start investigating again. And they, in, and, they, and the entire time Trump, I mean, uh, Trump was in office. They were investigating Hunter too. They were doing that too because he was the one that was over in Ukraine. What the fuck are you people talking there, about? There's a, a psychological phenomenon that I, I heard about. There's the actual term for it. It's that where it, the first thing you hear is the thing that you you believe. It's and you called lock the primacy it. recency theory. Is that what it's called? It's uh, the first and last things that you hear. There's a whole method of studying based on primacy recency theory. To jam for a test. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. But but the last thing you heard is also included in that. Mm -hmm. But also, but, then, but, but people it, forget everything kind of in between. Oh, oh, the first and the last. Well, that's why you can study for a test the day before, pass the test, and then two weeks later they go, well, answer this question. I don't know if you're talking about I think that's a different, <laughs> I think that is. Um, Are you thinking, you're not thinking of co cognitive dissonance is when you it's believe similar something. It's similar to that. You, you believe something no yeah. matter what. And it's the first thing that you, you believe. We were talking. It doesn't change. There's a reason that people do. And, and the scary thing is, you know, even as it pertains to our family members, is that there's, there's something nasty about it. It's not a good thing. Right. That something that he does or says appeals to them. Yeah. And the dark, it's, yes, the darkness of him. Yes. yes. And it's the they, things that they can't say out loud or wouldn't before. And yeah. now they can. Or they still won't, but he says it for them. And it's, you know, a lot of it is probably anti-gay, anti-trans, anti-immigrant, anti-black. Mm -hmm. And it feeds something inside of them that, that they weren't allowed to say for a long yes. time or think. With you know? uh, accusing people of sin and evildoers We're and the sin. rapture. And it but what it you're goes missing is that everything you're talking about with the Bible, he's antithetical to oh yeah, yeah and yeah. what you're saying is antithetical and so it that it's like that's the thing you want to like shake people and go what you're saying it makes no sense it makes no sense and i'm really tired i'm really tired of regurgitation i'm tired of that mm -hmm. if you are saying woke liberal mob mm -hmm. then you're dumb yeah because you're regurgitating a dumb phrase that he made up mob mob mm -hmm. i want to say to some of our family members you're me am i 
part of yeah, the what about mob? Wokeism? Are we mobbing? About, like, the, Where is the mob? Uh, just what? help me with just that yeah. word. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, right, right? But if you say mob, I know you heard Donald Trump say it, and I know you're just regurgitating it. And if all you talk about is Hunter's laptop and Hunter mm. Biden, then I know you're just regurgitating mm -hmm. because what you're failing to do if you're so stressed about a president's children is to address the fact that Jared and Ivanka, I only know this because they filed their taxes, that they made $688 million in the White House. And I know that when they left, he was flying home on January 6th with a check for $2 billion, billion. from Saudi Arabia. Also, this pocket. is very quiet. Mnuchin got a billion. Mnuchin, yes. Steve Mnuchin and got went away and dis the fuck appeared from and where from who from what I'm uh, sorry man I'm making it work and so like the it. thing the other part of that is Hunter Biden has never been in office nope. he's not in the White House he's not an advisor he's not nope. in the cabinet he's not traveling on taxpayers funded planes to go to other countries to negotiate peace treaties and embarrass us at international well, I'm events I'm really glad that Jared really fixed Israel yeah, right. He really did a <laughs> remember, good job. Do you remember so, the job peace that he plan? had? I remember the peace plan. If he did it, charge him. The best Whatever. people. Whatever. Why on. aren't they? Here's my question. Why aren't they investigating the shit out of Kushner and Ivanka? Is it because they they don't need to? They already well, got their dad? the House is led is Republican controlled right now. Well, so. Is that how, so the Senate can't do it. The House has to start it and it gets sent to the Senate, right? Is that how that works? The Senate could, but remember, as much Senate as I, is even I'm still too. dumb. I here's the difference <laughs> between me and everybody else. I'm still dumb. I work my ass off to even try to learn this stuff. What bothers me is there's 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 some smart people that we know, very smart people, that continue to just go, yeah, man, it's it's a conspiracy, and I'm and I always want to go. What, where, what's the give, give me the ABCs of it? Yeah, exactly. Give, let, let's, yeah. because a conspiracy has to start yeah, somewhere. Show, show your work. Let me, yeah, let me show see. your work. Show your work. There you okay. go. Well, if, can you guys just show your work? I was ranting to him yesterday because if you look at all these things, all these cases, all the indictments, even before his indictments, like, um, uh, uh, Michael Cohen and right. Manafort, Manafort yep. and all Rick Gates, all those cases. Uh, what, uh, Jeff, even, uh, what's his face? Uh, even general. now, oh, Mike Flynn. Mike Flynn, right. Even now, so those and then all of these different indictments, 91 counts Trump has, the only person that stands to benefit out of all of them is him, mm -hmm. one person. One guy. Sure, wins. he might employ them if he gets to stay in office. And I'm sure he's promised January them many 6th. things. Sure. Yes. Yep. But the one person, Stormy Daniels, who stood to benefit from hiding that hush money payment? It wasn't Stormy Daniels. And it wasn't Michael Cohen. Nope. It was Donald Trump. Michael Cohen did it for Donald Trump, but we're not talking about so that. So what is the dude, what does the dude have that instills such loyalty? Because, because you know, by the way, Michael Cohen, I think he's is full of shit now. He just found a new grift. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah he's yeah. as full of shit now as he always was. But Mr. Trump, I found, I find, I'm told I came clean. I wrote a book, buy my book. Uh, and like listen a, to my podcast. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So what are you doing with charity? I'm not doing anything with charity because Mr. Trump wouldn't let me do charity. Boom. He's, he's just as full of shit as he always was. He just found a new grift. And, it, and by the way, in this grift is legal. He's going to be depo he's going to be deposing Trump. I think that just moved forward. He's going to be deposed, really? He's going to depose Trump because Trump uh, is suing him for some ungodly amount of money now. And for writing that book. So he has rights to discovery now. Can you do uh, my, your Michael Cohen impression with Trump and then do Trump? They have a, it's very, it's so close. It's so <laughs> no, Mr. Trump, Mr. Trump, no, Michael Cohen speaks very clearly. He does like, like this. Mr. Trump, he, he, he does not know what he's doing. And the thing is that he, he, he will continue to do it and he will stab people. What I don't really know <laughs> is person, woman, man. Camera TV. Okay. <laughs> uh, former White House tr advisor Peter Navarro is moving forward to trial next week. This what? is his. This fast? Well, this was for his refusal to comply with the January 6th committee subpoena. Uh, federal. So Navarro has been ranting on TV for some time saying they're taking his life away, his money away, his whatever. He still yeah, didn't comply you tried with to the subpoena. the country. Uh, That's what happens. You're a criminal. That's yeah. what happens when you're a criminal. A judge has now announced a ruling. He held an evidentiary hearing this past Monday and has now said Navarro does not have claim to executive privilege or testimonial oh, immunity so he cannot present that to the jury that's also week. another that's also another piece of precedent set for the meadows case because although meadows was chief of staff meadows they, they keep saying 
yeah, you know, can I can I talk about the news for a second? First of all, the news is so full of shit all the time. The news, the news, we, we, it's not news anymore. You know what news is? Mm-hmm. The camera showing hurricane in Florida. That's news. You're like, Reality oh shit. TV. Mm-hmm. It's a bunch of people sitting around bullshitting each other about what might happen. Yeah, and they're and they're all going. They're just, it's just it's it's what we do, except we're a podcast. You know, we're just like here's what I think, and they're like, and well, here's what I here's what could happen. Barb Barb McQuaid, I like to listen to. He she, loves Barbara McQuaid. She can always kind of lock it down. I like Sue Andrew Weissman. Andrew Weissman, those guys, but it's still a bunch of pundits making shit up that doesn't really, land, you know, doesn't ever. It's there's nothing hardcore about the news unless there's a shooting, which there was three or four this week um, in the last five days. I, I just we become a bunch of bitchy, fucking gossipy. Like even the news is gossipy. Th- this this country has become a dumb factory. Species with all ending the fucking, stupid. It's like we were talking about before the podcast about how we've always always bring up idiocracy, but the that yeah. the, also that other recent movie that's just like idiocracy, which don't is look don't look up. And now we're seeing it uh, uh, the same exact thing in real time. Climate change is happening. Ho- horrible politicians getting away with everything and we and, it's like we feel like we can't do anything about it well that's the sad part is that the money in politics i keep thinking so 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 the money's going to the politicians yet we want the politic they're getting all the money and all the benefits and we want the politicians to stop the money coming to politicians right it doesn't fucking work you can't yeah. like so you and i are getting hundreds of thousands of We're dollars just like every week and they're like carrot. hey guys hey you guys better take care of that and stop that money you're getting yeah. Okay, we're on that. All right, we're going to do that. <laughs> it just seems In like two weeks, we're going to do that. The whole Well, you know why? Because when the founding fathers designed the system, they designed the system because they, they had, except for the slavery thing, they had some integrity overall about the country mm-hmm. because they'd been through a system like this in England because of kings and queens. Mm-hmm. We have now, it's funny to watch how maybe human beings were just, because at our core, we're just fucked. We just drift towards that. We just like drift monkey. towards c- to corruption mm-hmm. and more bananas for me mm-hmm. and hit the bell for more bananas. And and you can see it throughout history. It's not just now. It's throughout history. We're Maybe we're just a bad species. Could, again, please, aliens, land. Scare they don't the shit. want us. No, but I, I, I think, are we just an ant farm? <laughs> we're, just, <laughs> we're, just, we're just like, let's go look. Yeah, the way they fucked it up again. I don't know. I'm worried about it all. What's this? What's this podcast brought to us today by? I just kept waiting for a segue, but damn! Then he went ant farm, ant farm. and I. Well, give you, I'll, I'll if say. you were grilling out and you dropped a piece of a burger, ants would definitely swarm to that. Yeah, and you you were grilling because you were, you had you you had to get get the kind this of meat that you love. This episode brought to you by Butcher Box. Yes, we got it. We did. <laughs> See, I mean, just, I'll farm. just say it. <laughs> and the <laughs> ant farm. So we got our box. We got our butcher box box this week. Uh, that's last week for for when we. And man, I gotta tell you, it's almost it's Christmassy. It's a little Christmas. You're opening. It's oh my god! And then you're looking at the marvel stupid. of the meat, and you're like, "This is awesome, chicken." Oh, everything we got. I, I was like, she she went through it, and look at this. Yep. And look at this. I yep. called him in. I said, "You got to see this. You yes. got to just come in here and be here for this because it is kind of crazy." Yeah. We get the XL box chicken and beef and it is xl it is insane it's that mary poppins man container. it just yeah, yeah, yeah. coming out and i told him my inner college student that you know switched prices on chicken because i wanted white meat is freaking out over this i mean you got it too he texted me a picture of the flintstones <laughs> when they put the big oh, yeah. brontosaurus <laughs> steak on the car and tip it over <laughs> it, it, it's just insane and the fact that it comes to your door it's frozen still yep. it's it, like a brick frozen. yes it's yeah. crazy the thing about the quality of this meat is so different it's so much higher so much better my yeah. dad i now got get this for my dad as well this was his father's day gift never seen him so happy i think he, we've, I've, we've increased their their uh their numbers just by people we know oh yeah my whole, <laughs> oh my niece started and yep. didn't use our promo code she was like this was insane i said why didn't you use the promo code it's a hundred percent grass-fed beef Free range organic chicken, pork that's raised crate free and wild caught seafood. It's humanely raised with no antibiotics or added hormones, which explains why it tastes so good. It's a noticeable yeah, difference. My it. dad said yeah. that too. Yes. You think so, right? Oh, 100%. Mm-hmm. Every, and, and it's all the types of meat. 
er, every the chicken, the, the yeah. ground beef, the, the, the steak. Chicken, chicken they chicken all have the same the crystal roast, clear. Yeah. The uh, was it the roast? Was that why you were sending me the Flintstone the ribs? <laughs> yeah, the ribs. It was like this is a brontosaurus burger. What yeah. is this? <laughs> Um, it's free shipping always. It's delivered right to your doorstep. You can pick from their curated boxes or you can customize your box. You customize how often you get it. Um, I think my dad's on eight, every eight weeks. Um, they have an insane variety. Go look at their website. It's kind of like, it's, it's like a Amazon yeah. Yeah. warehouse of high quality meat. And it's stuff that I've never heard of. They also have recipes and tips and stuff on their website. But it's like, so you learn to cook new things because I'll go, mm -hmm. I'll get this in my box and I'll go online. You said that I'm going to search for recipes for that. Mm -hmm. And then I'll find out how to make it putting that roast in the crock pot. That's what that's, that's what you do with carrots, potatoes, and onions. Yeah, I just got to steal a crock pot back from the uh, Oh my lesbian. gosh. <laughs> so... <laughs> I don't know why. Sign up today at butcherbox.com slash Titus. Use promo code Titus. You get, this is our favorite one, two 100% grass-fed filet mignons and two wild-caught salmon lobster tails. Oh. I don't know how you miss that. For free in your first box plus $20 off your first order. So you save $60 on two of our highest, not farmed, on two of our highest quality cuts and save the legwork with doorstep delivery this exclusive offer only lasts until september 6th every time we have the filet and lobster tail deal we get emails like it's not there anymore that's yeah, because it go goes now. so fast because of the lobster tails and stuff so september 6th go to butcherbox.com slash titus promo code titus even farmed aren't they wild caught you can't just convince a lobster to kill itself that's no what else, when because think it. about <laughs> think about when you're farming and i'm sure somebody farms fish and you're gonna write in and tell me because you always do yeah, but uh, by the way you got lobsters uh, there's a farm uh, there's a small barn that they all live in and uh we, you know a, a haze of bitch underwater but there, it is a lobster farm as it were Think about like, you know, where if people Pond. were farming salmon and it's in this smaller area, not as well I get filtered, it. I just heard the word of swimming wild, in its own poop. Wild caught. I just said wild caught isn't like It's from Burning Man. That's uh, where the meat's from. We, we they convinced can. the lobster to kill itself. You know, no, of course it's wild caught. No lobster's like, yeah, you take me. Of course with um, <laughs> right, right. Fukushima or whatever. It, oh, did you hear that? Did you see that all, news last week? Maybe not. The Fukushima plant, they just dump like a million gallons of radioactive water into the ocean. Like, you know, at this plant, I hope the earth, they say oh, the earth is a living being, as a living being. It, sh it should be fucking pissed. But doesn't, isn't that why a lot of the plants are near um, coastals, uh, coastal areas? Because if there's an accident, so the water does some kind of, look, I'm not a nuclear physicist <laughs> engineer. Water does there's its thing with water nuclear. Here's what down, happens. It cools so the, the, so the, plants, the plants, <laughs> plants suck it up, plants suck it up, and they take the, the day nuclear and they shit it out. That's how you get the, the wild and caught that's, salmon. And that's <laughs> why the lobster like this. That's what I'm saying. No. I, I, I welcome the science hour with me and the Highlander. <laughs> that's what we should do. <laughs> Three eyed fish. Science Delicious. hour. I have a story about that. <laughs> Just us talking tell. about shit we don't know about and coming up with how we think it works. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, I had a thing about quantum physics. Quantum physics today. I was uh, <laughs> yes, I, no, no, no. It, uh, okay, so I hear all this stuff. There's, there's, a, there's a thousand parallel universes, right? There's, and they're talking about how on a different track we're the same people, but we're doing different things. That's the theory, right? String theory, and I go. Okay, if that's true, wouldn't someone have like jumped to universe and come back and said something? Yeah, Doctor Strange. It's just a fucking theory. It's just a theory. Wild man. fish have a more diverse diet than farm raised alternatives, which give them a better flavor. And those are the same guy that bitch about the Bible. Oh no, but yeah, but but parallel universes, really. So we have no evidence of that. The meat is leaner because wild fish are constantly moving and trying to find food to eat. That makes sense. Yeah. So we got a big, so we, so we got big like couch potato fish farms. Lobs. Yeah, they're 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 like yeah. are supposed to be closely monitored. So hypothetically speaking, you wouldn't get those chemicals. Yeah, because we've seen there. all the industrial farming for meats and stuff for all, are always just squeaky clean. That's how E. coli broke out and almost killed. Yeah, the they Midwest. let people in to film. Do you remember it? when all. COVID started and all those meat packing plants got that? Mm, COVID is um there's a new variant going around. I'm seeing more masks. Yeah, yeah. We have two. I mm -hmm. just said that to him and I'm wearing oh my I wore mine to I just got my nails done and wore mine cuz mm -mm, I don't want to be Yeah, I think I might start traveling with them again. You think I am? 
just because then I don't have to put makeup on too. I loved it. I, I don't like that wild call COVID. Yeah, I don't want. Did you ever get it? No, I get farm raised COVID. I just got. Oh, you did. Yeah, you got the. I just the Costco brand. We COVID. are we are at a crossroads now, and I believe I see the end of civilization. I really believe. Oh it. my god! Uh, no, no, no! Listen, when I saw this lady talking about, and when I watch people, especially people that are smart, making up the craziest shit I've ever heard, I think, oh, you guys, if you're willing to accept how crazy that sounds, you're willing to accept anything. You're willing to accept mm-hmm. that Armageddon's coming. There's yes. people that and think the rapture's coming. Yep. They want it to come. They're on. They're on. You were on board. I got my. They're I got prepping a, for it. I've got a basement full of yep. water and beans. I'm mm-hmm. good. And be- when you start having that mindset, and you and you, if your future is is devastation, you will live into devastation. If your future is we're going to make a utopian society where we all get along and we rise up together, and basically everyone's taken care of, you will go for that also. And that's the difference between the parties for me right now. And like you said before, what are they afraid of? That feeds people who have a deep seated fear of just I don't know, living, I don't know, yeah. but that's why they cling to guns and like like just multiple universes and other kind of crazy well, shit. Well, interesting, the Army Gunup that I did that research, that, that, that Princeton study, they found out that, that, that everyone's worried about illegal immigrants and immigrants. Immigrants commit crime two times less than Americans do. Fake news. It's it was a, it was a study by Princeton. It was done it was done over twenty years. Was it um, it's a twenty year study done by Princeton? Fifty year study. Did about it tw- account for the population difference? It was yes. the average. No, yes. Fake news. Per, ca- per capita, the immigrants Fake news. because they don't want to get kicked out of America, so they they they, they live cleaner. They bust their fucking asses. I was gonna say they work a lot they work, harder. Y- yeah, than- they work hard, mm-hmm. and so it's Americans commit more crime. Uh, more uh, physical crime, the uh, uh, more property crime. It, property crime is four times as much as immigrants. And you, and you go, and then you show it to somebody. This is Princeton. This is Princeton. Fucking elites. Have have we ever heard? Why, why, what do they get by being wrong? What the guy that wrote that paper people that lose? went to Princeton. What? Like um, Cruz, right? Didn't Cruz go to Yale and Princeton? Yes. Yep. Uh, this episode brought to you by AG1. AG1, why do you take it? Tell me. Because it makes me feel better. I get all my vitamins and minerals with a nice drink instead of taking pills. Instead of make, taking pills that make my makes like my stomach hurt and make my pee glow. <laughs> <laughs> AG1. I thought you were going to say my pee pee glow. I was going to say. <laughs> well, that would come in handy in a hurricane. <laughs> that's the trickle down theory. Uh, <laughs> but uh, it's uh, everything that's in it. And I trust it because the guy that invented it did it for his own health. He did. It wasn't. I love that. See, because it was really self-important. It wasn't like, I'm going to make a product to make a million. He's like, I feel like crap. I need to invent something. And so once he fixed it, so it fixed his gut, he's like, oh, maybe I can sell this. Kind of love that. Yeah. Um, it addresses all kinds of things for me. Specifically, you guys know this, digestive help, also mood support, hair, skin, and nails. I mean, it all it makes sense. It helps your gut a lot. Yeah. If you put it, if you're, if you're getting, so it's a green powder, you use one tiny scoop, shake it up with a little bit of water, you're done for the day. It's got your probi- probiotic in it. It's got over 75 minerals, vitamins, probiotics, whole food source ingredients of high quality. It gives you better energy. I have started using it. I was doing it every morning, um, first thing on an empty stomach. And now, because I work out in the afternoons and right. it's been so hot and I get more tired, I've been using it right before I get on the Peloton because it gives me increased energy. That's awesome. And I need it and I notice it. It's like, and and I don't like to take pre-workout stuff that makes you like- a, you Jerry, know, yeah. Because then it messes with my sleep. This is just your body getting the things that it needs. So obviously everything is going to work better. A gentle breeze messes with your sleep. That's a good point. <laughs> it's also delivered to you every month. You can sign up, get it delivered to your house. So that makes it easy to keep it as a habit right? because it's coming to you every month and you're reminded about that. You can also pause it or wh- whatever you want to do. I love it. It makes my headaches go away. I, it makes me feel better. I, I have that reaction to like uh, the wheatgrass stuff too. I used to react to it. So this stuff has so much stuff in it that I, I notice a half an hour and I feel like I feel a little bit like, okay, all right. So if you want to take ownership of your health, try AG1 and get a free one-year supply of vitamin D and it's a dropper bottle that you put in the drink and five free AG1 travel packs with your first purchase. Go to drinkag1.com slash Titus. That's drinkag1.com slash 
Titus. Check awesome. it out. Awesome. Uh, I need to speak about something and I want to say it out loud. And I know it's going to get me a lot of uh, shit in the comment section. But women drivers are the worst in L.A. are the worst fucking drivers. I, I, I Young women. You know what it is? Here's what I think we need to do. So and Ray, Ray and Danica Patrick aside, Ray, when I got that GTO for our 10th anniversary, I don't even know the car yet. This girl jumped in it with the four speed, <laughs> took off down the street. It was insane. I was like, oh, and she came like, I'm okay. She's not dead. Good. <laughs> he was waiting for me outside. I was, I was like, waiting. Oh. I had my phone on. Like she's gonna call any second. Oh God, does she have her phone? God, we gotta go find her. You were surprised. You've you done. It's it wasn't her. I kept saying it. It's not her. Ray is an incredibly competent driver. It's the car. It was a car I didn't know. I had just mm. got it. I had done a loose. I, I had the front end line and stuff. But I but I, what, I didn't know what it was gonna do. You know, I just you know I don't know the Paul car. Ass loudly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I was barefoot. And it did. Yeah, yeah. That was the dumbest shit. It, yeah, it it's took this, off. this, and this. Yeah. I don't know what the problem with like driving clutch. barefoot is. I understand not driving in flip flops. But I don't yeah, understand why you can't drive barefoot. I'm from the south. We do everything barefoot. That's right, because you can't. Because you'll, you'll slip and well, it'll slide off. A lot of them can't uh, afford shoes. How slippery are your feet? Not mine. Squeeze, yours. Squeeze, squeeze. <laughs> no, mine. Um, no. If, the, if, if, she, if he were that stuff, you'd fall down all the time. Uh, so I'm I driving. <laughs> so everybody should have to drive a 1969 GTO because the steering wheel, you got to turn the quarter turn before the front end reacts. Yeah. You've got, you know, that you got to. <laughs> oh, man. It's work to drive it. Yeah. So, but now cars are so easy yeah. to drive. Any dipshit can get behind the wheel of a car and, and you're still. And not even with AI with the fucking auto driving cars. You don't yeah, even yeah, have to drive. It, the Tesla. The te it it really things. highlights how spoiled we are. But mm -hmm. yeah, you get yes. The GTO, the same with the vet, the the sixty five Corvette. It's like it's like this thing is hard to drive. Yeah, you feel like you've been in a full contact sport when you arrive. Yeah, your yeah, forearms you're are like, what the hell's yeah. going on? And the air doesn't work right. yet, and so you got the windows open, and it's mm -hmm. and I'm trying to like downshift, let a guy merge on to the one hundred and one, and he just riding next to me, and I finally turn to look at him and go, what the. And he's hanging out of his um, electric Mercedes yeah. SUV going, hey, oh, yeah, that's the problem. badass car. And that happened so many times where people were making it very dangerous because they wanted they to look see the at car. the car yeah. or say something. Mm -hmm. Or they saw me driving it and were like, what? You've never had a <laughs> Am car. I in a movie? Well, yeah. <laughs> so her car, her GTO You're is so girl, nice. girl. You can't drive. Her, her GTO is so nice that it, it does draw attention and it's rare. They don't make Pontiacs anymore. So... But but I'm I'm driving over here and every time someone fucks up in traffic and I mean does the craziest yes. shit I've ever seen I pull up because I want to see I'm taking a poll a personal poll so I can find oh. out who to hate for the rest of my life and it's always a young girl who's not even looking mm -hmm. they're not waving they're not saying sorry people and uh, and how about the asshole that's at the front of the light dude. Do you know what you're doing, bro? Every time you look at your fucking phone while that light is red, you're in the front row. You have a job. You're the point you're man. If you're the point man, you're responsible. That thing goes green. Are we, Whoa, are Tony are we Schumacher. back on this? It's either uh, this it, it, or the Keurig. No, no, it's the Keurig. It, it, Keurig. <laughs> Last week was Keurig, around. but the week before was this. But I'm tired of it. We got a country full of morons that just like. For God's sakes, you're driving a 4,000-pound weapon. Learn to drive it. And by the way, every time you don't leave from a stoplight, you screw the three people behind you. Common courtesy. Have some fucking... So I've, just, I've seen some comments the last time we brought this up. I'm going to die. A few, I'm going to have a heart attack. A few people commented and said, I don't leave right, right when the light goes because I want to look both ways right, and whatever. exactly. Have you ever been sitting at a light and you can't see your your field of view. I'll go fast, but I in LA there is an unspoken rule that two cars go on red, right? It's been that way since you I moved see here. That, it wasn't but you like can that. see that yeah. for so long. I do go fast. I mean, the it's two just that people aren't looking. They're on their phones. And no one's looking. I got That's one. It. I'm driving over. And, and, and if I'm behind a gardening truck, I guarantee you the guy's on his phone. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, I, trying happen, to find the this house. This happened twice yeah. on the way over. So you're anti-immigrant too. I go, no, it was white guys. Anti women and anti immigrant. Anti, I'm anti you women. You could be on Fox I'm anti News. women driver uh, uh, right now. Right now. I, I, that can change. Grandma but, Jean hauled ass. Then again, you, Danica Patrick, Grandma Jean. From. There's exceptions, but I'm saying overall. My sister is a brake tapper. It's oh, the weirdest thing. Oh my thing God. That, it's oh. constantly. And I mean, con, con, and I don't know why. And 
I had just had surgery and she was driving me around and I was just like, I gotta get out of this car. I can't right. Out this car. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. You're an old Uber. school brake tapper from way back. That's and even I more forgot. dangerous. It's, oh, I can't. I hate to bitch about it, but what's, what, we're, what we're doing is we've created, there was an interesting thing that was on Instagram. They were showing video of a school, I think it was in California, in the 50s, late 50s, early 60s, and their physical fitness regimen. And they had to be able to do uh, 15 pull-ups. They had to be able to do- With cigarettes in their mouth. Yeah, yeah cigarettes, <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. And, and, and hard, asbestos and hard shirts. shoes, yeah. <laughs> um, and they, they had to do 15 push-ups. They had to, there was all these things they had to do. Like they had to do 50 pu uh, push-ups. What are you talking about? Pull-ups. I'm just saying that we have now- the, Are we, you talking about the elementary school fitness no, this was test? Project this was Adventure. School. That's what not we're Project about. Adventure. Project Adventure is a CIA training <laughs> yes. program, and we've said for and years. And why are we not doing that sketch? I don't know. <laughs> but wait, you're talking about the little fitness test. This was in the where yeah. boys this, had to do pull-ups and girls school. had to do the no, hangs. No, no, no. You're see, it was already over by the time you were in high school. I I was so skinny, long and skinny. I'd lock my little skinny arms on with my chin, and I. would I was so competitive even then. And I'd just be looking that one bitch girl in the eye that always like almost beat me and just shaking. But I would not let go. Girls Good. had to wear weights right here. Remember this the sit and reach? Forced to keep a, put their weight. Do you remember the sit babies. and reach? Okay, so That's these, a sit and spin. So if no. you look at no. it, it's called the Silva. Where have you been hanging look, look, out? Look, look, uh, uh, the, the Silva Fitness, the, the, the Silva Fitness Program. Kennedy, it was Kennedy uh, was was part of was part of getting it instigated. And I you, do remember. And there's video of these high school kids, and they're all shredded, like they all look yeah. like Instagram models. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, every single one of them, not yeah. one. I'm talking twenty dudes in a row that all went to the same school. And they look like they're 45, but they are they are they're, ripped. They're 16. <laughs> I do remember in high school um, for PE, no matter what period the you were- fit, We had the president's yeah, fitness Yeah, we had that thing. too, and yeah. you'd get the certificate. That was the sit and reach and yeah. the pull up and all that crap. Um, high school, my PE class- A lot of farting in the sit and you reach. You had to run a mile at the beginning of every class. That's how we started every class. There you go. Which is when I became goth, why I started skipping PE. So we we lost uh, that, and I got almost didn't graduate because so of we, that. So really? we're not. So yes, I got pulled out of my sixth period by the vice principal. He was so mean, Columbus High School, and uh, he told me it had come to his attention that I had not been to PE. It was my last class of the day. I was just leaving every day because oh, I'm not putting on some little gray shorts and a gray t-shirt. Have you seen me? Oh. I have black lipstick and a dog collar. I'm not doing it. And um, so he said, you haven't been there for um, three, <laughs> six always, weeks in a row. Oh, you've okay. Always then been, you should have been, been a lot, haven't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so then I went, but I forgot my uniform for two days. I met the PE teacher hi oops <laughs> and then i quit going again knowing that i might not graduate but i'm not doing this and my last three six weeks the pe teacher gave me a hundred so what did you do to get nothing i just said hi and Pulled didn't up in a work GTO. out didn't wasn't it called dress out get dressed out or yeah, dress yeah. something anyway i didn't do that and then i never That's came back again never gone to pe was it called dress out dress out <laughs> dress in dress out <laughs> Just there on, was like uh, a phrase for it. You remember? Get dressed. No. They would say, all right, dress out or whatever. There's a lot of yelling too. I wasn't really into that. <laughs> I just, this I is, have better places to be. This is Project I'm Adventure. You're this. still talking about it. I, I'm saying this. I had already passed Project let, oh. This thing on Instagram showed me that we have let our standards drop uh, across the board. Fitness, education. Well, that, uh, that we were talking about. Ability. That's the, why I'm saying that everybody should have to go drive a 69 GTO or an old car from the 50s yeah. for like at the beginning. Yes. Because then you're like, oh my God. Like yeah. you have to overreact. You have to react early. You have to pay attention. That's how you, you learn to drive. You can't be on your phone. Yes. Yeah. You know, now, like, if you're not feeling with a stressed oh. out by the world going to or hell this in podcast. a handbasket, <laughs> this episode brought to you by Next Evo Naturals. Uh, love the gummies. Sleep gummies. Something I really love about the gummies mm. that no one else yet had mastered until we got these is they don't have that weird hempy aftertaste. They actually taste like gummies. So yeah. I'll be in bed, grab two of them out of my nightstand, and it's almost like I'm cheating a little bit it's I'm a having, calming snack I'm let's just call a it a calming dessert. snack that's what i'll say it is <laughs> uh best cbd gummies they absorb better they contain 100 percent of the cbd that's listed on the label they're clinically tested um a lot of other cbd companies 
maybe don't contain. They've tested what some. They say. All we're saying is this: and some of these other companies, we've tested the uh, level of CBD. It's not exactly what the uh, up to standard stuff. <laughs> yeah, but these guys have tested. These guys are on exactly, it. and it's, that absorption on those gummies starts in up to ten minutes, which is awesome. Um, next Evo Sleep Support Complex and Next Evo Stress CBD Complex are two different ones that you can get, and you're just lowering stress in all natural way or upgrading your sleep which certainly we could all use i certainly need that you just need sleep you don't need to upgrade it you need to get some <laughs> even low level you're, i was you're, sleeping you're, really well last night but daisy likes to start crying in the morning loudly often very early and sure she'll pee outside but mostly daisy wants breakfast because daisy is at that age where it's all she has yes the peak put a little next of her day in there. <laughs> oh i didn't think about don't that don't do it don't do that not recommending that um so next evo naturals are all their products are clinically proven to help your body absorb cbd four times better than regular cbd oil so i also love the little tear off white packets you get a big bag of them and there's a bunch in there and i throw them in your smoothie in the morning <laughs> well, i always wonder why i, I come to work <laughs> i can by the way it's the you know, one thing keeping uh next eve was the one thing keeping me together when i'm on the road with these morons yep. <laughs> here so, i thought titus was making progress it's, uh, no but not no. at all i'm medicated it's, to some degree <laughs> <laughs> i just think things are about to get more stressful kid your kids are going back to school um you have to you have to be oh soccer Oh, I, God. oh God, sports. soccer, sports. Oh my God. Uh, it's about to get dark early. There's a lot, holidays are stressful for everybody. And so this is a great thing to add to your routine. Just have it in the cupboard. Well, we, have, we just have it in the cupboard. And we, I, I know some in there, like grab them, boom. Done. I have them in the cupboard. We have the pills, we mm -hmm. have the capsules, the gummies and those packets. And I have them right next to the smoothie stuff, the protein powder and oatmeal and stuff like that. So I just grab it all together. And then I keep the gummies in my nightstand for dessert. So get more Z's and more zen in your life upgrade to better natural solutions from next evo naturals go to nextevo.com use promo code titus you get 25 percent off that's 25 percent off at nextevo.com promo code titus good stuff uh i want to talk about the this, this so I, I i brought this up in missouri uh a lot of people are talking in right-wing circles about the civil coming civil war we're gonna have a civil war whatever anybody who thinks this is a possibility i don't you're my fellow americans i don't give a shit you guys are we're mad about politics that has been like this forever um again we are we are we are such in a weird catch-22 because the only way to fix it is have the politicians who are being corrupted by the system fix the system and that's such a fucking hard that's such a heavy lift man yeah so you want the people that are making the money and, cr and being the criminals to fix the crime stop the crime you're already they're already criminals yeah so it's up to you guys to vote them out but then so they know that. So here's what's going on. The Republicans know what's coming. They know that there is a, there's a bunch of kids like uh, Hoff or David Hoff, David Hoff, David Hog, 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 David Hog. They know there's there, there's a whole generation of those kids that are like, fuck you guys. We're voting you yeah. out. We're voting you out. Yeah. They know that's coming and they know they're not willing to do anything to change it. So that's why all the voting laws have been changing. That's why every uh, every every election is rigged. Anytime someone loses, now it's rigged. Uh, I want to point this out again. If you think the election was rigged, then we need to get rid of every single Republican that took a new seat because mm -hmm. it was the same election. Same yeah, then it was rigged. Same it was rigged, it was same rigged. fucking ballot. Yeah, yep. you didn't win then. Mm -hmm. Then you Republicans didn't win. Yeah. You know, if you if, if you, there's no way you lost, then there's no way you won either. And then how is how again is Trump actually running the country if it was rigged? If he keeps what dude, this uh, I spin a spin. Please go watch some of these interviews with these people, how they spin it. Oh my god. Donald Trump is president right now. He's currently the president. Absolutely. He is still president. There's a lot of things that this Biden person does not have, like the presidential seal and things like that, that are pretty obvious. But Biden doesn't have the presidential seal. No. When he speaks, there's a presidential seal in front of him. It's not real. It's not even dumb. Like, so the woman that was talking, I'm, That's I'm, dumb. I'm sorry. It's very dumb, but she spoke very clearly. She was using she her vocabulary. She put her clothes on that day. Her vocabulary was great. We yeah, have she, a family member like that. She had it together. And who I was like, very clearly will say the craziest stuff. Yeah. And I'm like, you cabal of baby blood drink hollywood that's us you're yeah. talking about us yeah, talking about me. exactly yeah are you i had a tv show I, i'm in hollywood oh i i'm just i just live near it that's why i included myself <laughs> <laughs>
No, no, I, I was talking to us, and he was, was like, me, <laughs> actually me. Okay. No, that's not what okay, I meant. Okay, Tiger. No, I was talking to her. I was talking to her. I was talking <laughs> you to her. You were there. I was like, yeah, I wasn't going to say uh, gender just to not give it away too I'm just much. saying that why the level of disconnect that you have to have. Can I advertise something? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of segue. Hollywood, oh, uh, we, God. Mr. Christopher Todd Titus and I, Rachel Elizabeth Bradley Titus, are putting on the Salvation Army Kettle Kickoff fundraiser this year on November 9th. If you're in the L.A. area or if you just want to fly to the L.A. area, it's going to be on November 9th. It's going to be at the El Portal Theater right up the street where we filmed each of our last specials. Yep, zero side effects and Mr. Billy Gardell has just agreed to do it. Yeah, Billy, we're trying to get some other people. He wants to walk the boards with you. Yeah, yeah. If you drink baby get, blood, let's hear it. Come on out. How did he say it? Uh, hey, that'd be great. Be on stage and get walking the boards together. That'd be great. <laughs> like, what do you? What, what, I, I always go back in time to talk to Billy. I'm, I, I talk to. I talk. We always have a phone call in 1931. I even I even pick up the phone like this. <laughs> hey, Billy, how you doing? Hey, Titus, what's going on? I, do, I have an iPhone with a handle on it. Oh, you do. <laughs> so, like still, Actually, you it's have to a connect. cellular Plaza 2579. <laughs> but your dialogue comes up as a photo. Exactly. Just like exactly. So, Billy Gardell, Christopher Titus will be walking the boards. With the amazing Rachel Brown. I'll be there. And, and we have one more person we're trying to get. But it's, it's just going to be 100% to clean up homeless problem that we have here take care of those people feed those people and provide wraparound services for them and all of that money that we raise at that event goes directly into those wraparound services you know there's been some studies done that if you can get if you can get enough funding in certain areas to get homeless people to a center to start getting some sort of help, yeah. some sort of assistance. It starts to clean up the neighborhood. Some of them get focused and start, it starts to actually really the change. The greatest of these is love. The greatest of these is love. And guys, do, let's do our part, man. So go to the Kettle Kickoff. It's going to be fun. It'll be funny. Uh, we're doing it in a theater this year. You know what we should do? We should stream that. We should. I, 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 t I said this when you went to the meeting. I said, tell I didn't them, hear you. Oh, tell them we can stream it. Yeah. So tell them that we, because we could put our cameras up. So, By the way, it is called Dress Out. I looked that up. Dress Out. Why? Why we do we have to change words for we people? Never it's another said reason I don't that. like it. You didn't? Uh, no, we never said that. This episode brought to you by Hello Fresh. So <laughs> we had a great Hello Fresh experience last week. Mm -hmm. By we, I mean, I that? made it and he ate it. <laughs> when, I, when I left, when it was a great, it was that how good the experience was. It was phenomenal. Uh, the new box just showed up today as I was leaving the house to come to the podcast. It did? Yep, I put it inside. What's in it? I didn't look. I, I, we, we had to do that together. That's the thing we do together now. Well, because we've been together so long. That's did you really put it in the fridge? No, it was okay. in the, but I didn't open it. So they, so that, so the, because it's it's so well packed with the with the uh, uh, dry ice that it stays great. I just had I was leaving. I don't think I picked our recipes this week. I think they picked them. So you can do that. They will pick, and you will always be surprised. You'll be like, oh, I don't usually yeah, they've never eat screwed that, us. or I've never made that, and then you end up with this yeah. gourmet it's meal. Always good. HelloFresh never sends you. You never get some horrible. Hey, why is it? This is with olive loaf. This is an <laughs> olive <laughs> loaf. <laughs> liver. <or something>. Yeah. <laughs> Jinx. Uh, if you don't know, HelloFresh is a meal cooking delivery service. Each meal comes in its own bag, QR code, or full color recipe card. Follow you, which the Which you steps, can keep, the recipe card you can which keep. Which we do. We yep. have a little stack of them in the pantry. And um, you just pull out the one bag when you get home from work, and you follow the steps. These things I made last week took me less than 10 minutes. It was four steps. They were... These are the the, ta the, the, the lettuce leaf tacos? Lettuce. They weren't tacos. Lettuce it was, leaf burgers. Yeah, yeah the lettuce like leaf... Bur uh, burgers. Oh. Cheeseburgers. But you, oh. you crush up the hamburger and put the seasonings and the, but then the onions, everything the that they give you in there and then some cheese in the meat. Then the, you put uh, that uh, in the lettuce leaf. And then the crunchy onions. Fried onions, uh, crispy fried uh, onions, oh, cheese. so good. And you make an In-N-Out special sauce. It was, uh, oh, the Literally sauce. Literally took me less than 10 minutes. And he, I knew he was going to freak out about those. He was just like, I what said, is this? I get done with two and I go, uh, did we get the double order? 
<laughs> did you get it for four or for two <laughs> and i said well i got it for four but it's like we don't three fourths gone yeah, we were already do done we was, that was we, so we had one more uh next day so you spend less time planning your meals that's what i love about it also i can't ever decide anymore i'm busy i don't have time to think about it you don't know either this takes the guesswork out of our week for this um they also now have easy breakfast quick lunches and snacks in their hello fresh market so you can add those onto your weekly box um you can pause cancel your box anytime i we if we're gone i'll go on the website very easy to navigate and just yep. hit pause on each date that we're not going to be here and then i'll usually choose my recipes for each week you get like 40 different recipes to choose from and you start to know ones you like that one was a happy surprise so go to hellofresh.com slash 50 titus use code 50 titus you get 50 percent off plus 15 percent for the next two months HelloFresh.com slash 50Titus using promo code 50Titus. You get 50% off and an additional 15% off for the next two months. America's number one meal. Can I say something about our advertising? Uh, I know sometimes people, we advertise a lot of stuff. I want you to know something. We spend so much time picking only good companies because I never want you guys to get something that we advertise that, that isn't great. Every company we advertise is phenomenal. And we also ask for a Patreon on the podcast or any kind of contribution. So just thank you because, uh, and by the way, go to these companies because we use them. We basically uh, every, live off these products. Yeah, it's funny like because it's like, yeah, we, we really, really do. use them. We use all of them. Well, I said <laughs> that Even too. Even somebody that stopped advertising, I still use. Uh -huh. There's a couple of companies that they just, you know, they moved on to a bigger thing. And so, but I still use the products. I do too. Um, MeUndies. Yeah. Great example of that. Oh God, Truff. Native. Mm -hmm. Native every day. Yeah. Um, there's so many that um so i just want you know we're not just doing this because it just keeps the podcast going you know point being i was sitting Sorry. outside the other night in an ag1 sweatshirt <laughs> eating our dinner that was hello fresh yeah. i mean it's like it's kind <laughs> of ridiculous and you smell nice from your native deodorant i did and yeah. i had had cbd gummies <laughs> that, yeah because bedtime was coming i that's, shave every day with harry's, harry's razors yeah um, i mean that's the weird but i have uh, harry's everything hold on hold on I'm just saying that we, we're not in my purse, Harry's holding spray. I mean, it's kind of sad. Uh, I was looking for this at the house today. Cause see how weird it is. Steer. Well, it's too late now. He's going to use it now. It, I'm no, about no, to do no, a fun do fact. It, do it. Now you're spraying. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> Harry's. <laughs> um, so, uh, one more thing, okay? Let's just let's just re let's rehash. Uh, cr Trump's criminal. There was no deep state. Let's just let's rehash the head podcast. Nordstrom in San Francisco downtown is closed down. It's been there thirty five years. It's an anchor there, and they've shut down because of the that area now. Because because even liberals go too far. Yep. The liberals went too far in San Francisco. You've got it's. I, I, I people always say to me, "You're a lifter." No, I'm I'm an actualist. You can't let people shoplift and walk the fuck out. You just can't. They blew it. They blew it. San Francisco, like we're the we're the bastion of liberalism. Yeah, and you and you went too far. You went too far. Well, how about we don't? Well, how about we don't be liberal or conservative? How about we just do right is right, wrong is wrong. That's how we handle shit. If you steal, you get arrested. You get arrested. You get body. Your your face gets slammed into the plate glass door as you're leaving the store. Yeah, there should definitely be some some sort of uh, control on that. However. San Francisco. It's interesting that San Francisco is is the most expensive place to live, if yes. not the uh, first or second. Yeah, everybody got kicked out. Everybody, uh, people that just normal people got I got kicked out. Yeah, and that the shoplifting is is increased, and unions are increasing, and inflation is so high that it's got. There's got to be a, a causation between shoplift shoplifting going up. With like with higher this prices, higher, yeah. way higher prices that but people that's are just like, if you fuck let, this. If you let people get away with, yeah, but here's the problem: it's it's, it's you just, still need to control. Yeah, if you let you them get away let with happen. shoplifting, yeah, yeah, yeah. then they have to raise the prices on everything else. Yeah, so it's this bizarre circle. Yeah, you know what we need to do? We need to other other countries do. We need to take some of our money. Uh, John Stewart did a great thing, man. I was watching it on, uh, on Instagram. He he started talking about how taxes work. So we pay taxes to the government. The government's supposed to give us services for that. You don't just pay taxes because you have to, because we get roads and we get fire department and we get you know police. 
uh, other countries, uh, other industrialized nations get health care. Yep. Uh, they also get uh, uh, mental care facilities for their homeless. Mm-hmm. They also get their tax monies for them. Their tax money doesn't go mm-hmm. to, uh, they have a, all of a military, but they don't have a military that's three times as big as any other military on the planet like yeah. we do. So, the it's so funny as you get older and you start <laughs> researching and you realize that, hey, George Carlin was a prophet. He was our Nostradamus. Uh, but he, you know, but everything we've done with the Department of Defense, at one point you have to go, guys, we're good. We just need to keep maintaining what we have. We don't need to keep adding to it. Mm-hmm. How about we actually take care of these other problems? And Which Biden's doing? Chips Act, infrastructure. You know, he's today, uh, yesterday, uh, Biden just lowered a bunch of drug prices. Capped. You know, ten, capped it. 10 different drug prices that predominantly seniors use. And, can't and, afford and they've already got, and guess what? M- uh, Merck and Pfizer and a couple other drug companies already filed lawsuits. Like, Jesus so how Christ. the fuck, Jesus how many bills? I, I just don't. People can't afford their medication it's, it's food country. or medication yeah it's and we're talking mostly about our elderly it's, yes and veterans and it's it's disgusting but i said this to you the other day if you are saying do nothing in response to a crisis that is ongoing in this country you are disqualified As from government yes we're having shooting after shooting after shooting and their answer is do nothing more guns. i get you got a lot of arguments but your answer ultimately what you've shown us is nothing because we try to do something and you block it and then you just shut up and move on so you're disqualified Healthcare, they blocked yeah. it infrastructure they blocked it then yeah. once it passed claimed it in their districts oh, that's amazing. <laughs> but we've got hearings going on hunter biden who's not in office and they're probably going to impeach Biden, even though there's no proof. They still don't, they don't have, have anything the proof on that him. Joe was involved with Hunter. It's yeah. you know. Anyway, I, I'm just saying you're right. If you if your if your answer to any if your job is to fix the problems of the country, and we've elected you to fix the problems, and your answer is what she just said. Uh, I, I'm sorry. It's just ha- it just says how it is. I then get you, that you don't you disqualify yourself. You don't you're like right. it. Yeah, but. Welcome to the adult world. We Put on your big pants and let's come to the table and find some sort of solution, whatever it is. It doesn't have to be what Democrats say, or but there has to be something. There has to be something. Put on if, your Chris if I'm Christie telling pants. you that veterans who fought for this country can't afford the medication to keep themselves alive. They could all wear Chris Christie pants. And you say do nothing? Yeah. Gone. Yeah. Uh, an astrophysicist. This is a fun fact. This is fun. An and astrophysicist. <laughs> Rachel's fun <laughs> facts. Rachel's fun facts. It's Rachel's fun facts. It's actually fun. He's well. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually fun. He, he by the way, he just relaxed. Yeah. No, it's not actually. <laughs> he, he's that not fun. upset. <laughs> it's not that fun. But I just wanted to talk about. We've talked about dumb people. Let's talk about an intelligent person. He's an astrophysicist named Avi Loeb. He has been determined to. Sc- to discover whether it was indeed an extraterrestrial artifact that crashed into the Pacific. He is the professor and theoretical astrophysicist at Harvard, and he and a team of scientists are now one step closer to determining that because they have retrieved suspected remnants of a meteor from June. And he said in a media release today that early analysis suggests that those small metallic objects are actually interstellar in origin. Um, they're trying to find out if it's artificial or natural. Wait, interstellar origin. So it came from out of it is unmatched to any existing alloys in our solar system. There is no alloy comparable. This whole alien thing. (laughs) Do you guys get the feeling? Like, do you notice how it's amping up? Yeah. Like, do you get the feeling that like, oh, something where they're about to reveal? There's a lot more footage. There's There's a lot lot more. A lot of weird. We found this unobtainium. We've got this. uh, Exactly. There's like weird metallic. Putting videos from the military out. Mm. They're weird metallic spheres. Oh, spheres too. Awesome. On the base of the Pacific, off of Papua New Guinea. And a guy going like this, (laughs) with a big head. (laughs) Um. I, right, right, you know what we need right now? Uh, part of me, remember I was doing when I did the zero side effects. Are you going to say Lion Day? I want the aliens to come back. You know why? And show us some technology where they just go, they just vaporize a dude and they go, here's guys, we're really gentle and we're really peaceful. Here's what we can do unless you guys start. And we're not, we don't want to enslave you. Just you're going to fix the climate. Mm-hmm. You're going to take care of your people and that's how it's going to go. And, and you're going to, and Ron DeSantis, you need to shut the fuck up. And they vaporize Zuckerberg and they vaporize. 
Bezos. 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 This, you, 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 you just, you just admitted you, you lost. Well, what he'll say is, you said it yesterday, but if he's going to run for Senate, he'll say he's, he's interested in continuing to represent the people of Florida because given this catastrophe and other things, he knows that he's got to, yeah, it. this would be the perfect time to do it. But I think aliens, it, it, here's what they do to Zuckerberg. They get Elon Musk, Zuckerberg, and Bezos, and they go, listen, we can destroy everything if we want to. We're not going to. We will hold you accountable. You guys can keep $2 billion a piece, more than enough for the rest of your life. The rest of it, you can distribute to people. We can actually fix the country. The government, you can stop building weapons. You don't need to. We got you. No one's, there's not going to be a war started. We're watching now. So you no longer have to use your resources for weapons. Uh, and then Lockheed would come up with a, Lockheed would be like, we got to kill these guys. <laughs> <laughs> what the benefit <laughs> is that for the aliens? Why do they need us? Uh, to well, so uh, I, I, I always assume that the aliens are um, woke, benevolent. These but aliens very, are so very, woke. Very, very woke, very benevolent. And that they're just like, we've, we've been around for, for another f a billion years than you have. And we know what you're doing doesn't work. You were an experiment. We, you know, how do you think there's, it goes monkey. And then human, you know, and there, and, and, and where slightly are, less. Monkey. Where are all? Yeah, but where are all those guys? Where mm -hmm. are all the slightly less monkey guys? Mm -hmm. Dead. Are, are, de dead. Ugga. <laughs> Ugga and but so uh, it would be cool to me that like the, they just sit there and they go they go. You can have two billion. You can have two billion. The red or and you can help. You can do what you want with it to help society, or. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure you, this is the plot of 2001 Space Odyssey. <laughs> I was going to okay. say, I think this I has just, been done. I just think, yeah. well, look, we can't fix it. We've let it, we're letting go. Of it. I, I wish we had some intervention at this point. I wish someone come in and go, yeah, please, we aliens, don't listen to him. This is not an appeal by the Titus podcast for you to intervene <laughs> or interprobe. Yeah, yes, it is. No, no I don't want to probe, probe him. <laughs> and did, here's I the did, coordinates for the way, Donald Trump. I do need to get checked out. I need yes, to go you to do. Col Yeah, you do. But I wouldn't mind an alien coloscopy. I mean, like, you know, colostomy colon colonoscopy <laughs> colonoscopy colon Co calamari colonoscopy is that what they call it a calamari calamari no that's, that's Trump's wild bodyguard call. <laughs> wild caught polyps <laughs> oh my god we have to go now <laughs> and on that amazing note uh for my uh thanks for watching thanks for listening please go to christophertitus.com where are we going to be in the next couple weeks we're going to be columbus columbus uh that and whole then weekend coming up after that we have knoxville bijou theater and then louisville bomb hard theater and then lexington uh comedy off broadway one show each of those nights two days later we're going to be in lafayette lafayette I have to, front, I lived in Louisiana, but my dad lives in Lafayette, Georgia. In Louisiana, it's Lafayette. Yep. Um, see how, see. We're going to be in New Orleans first, Lafayette on Thursday, and then Dallas, Texas Theater on Friday at the end of the month, and then Houston Zilka Hall on September 30th. That'll be our birthday weekend show. Come to those shows. Guys, come to those shows. This new show is, is killing it. And I, got, I have to say something. We worked in Missouri. It's a, it's a fine club. It's fine. It's great. And I watched this girl handle every kind of audience. You, 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 you've just become, it's not my tour. It's uh, Titus and Rachel tour. You're so fucking good now. It's crazy to watch. I sit in the back of the room and I, you, you hear me laughing all the time, right? Cause you pull stuff off. She's doing stuff with the audience. Like she starts she, to the point where I, I got annoyed the last show because it was the second show and she kept doing it. I'm like, you're digging a hole for me. Now they're going to want to talk to me. <laughs> you're welcome. Get that crowd. <laughs> somebody film that crowd work. Let's, let's, let's show yeah, that. Let's, let's, let's put, put it up. Let's, let's be more part of the problem when it comes to stand up. Yeah, no, I don't want people coming thinking that they can yell out at me. Guys, I to, had to deal uh, with this Go guy. to ChristopherTitus.com. By the way, uh, on the road, we're taking these really cool tour posters based on a piece of art she had made for me for my birthday last year. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. For myself, the lovely bomb show Ray in the Highlander. Later. Peace out. There can be only one.